Hey guys! I feel like it's been a really long time since I made a video by myself. This is kind of nice. It's like having me time, but with you. And your camera, so... I considered making a video about how much I loved Frozen this week, because I went and saw Frozen finally, and it was amazing. As soon as the credits started rolling, I turned to my friend and I said, let's do it again. <laughs> Sadly, it was already very late and there was no later session. I've been listening to Let It Go and Do Wanna Build a Snowman, and for the first time in forever, just over and over again. So I thought about talking about how much I loved it. But this is what it would have been. It would have been me just saying, oh, I loved it so much. It was so great. And then I'd probably start crying, and then I'd probably start singing Do You Wanna Build a Snowman, and then there'd be copyright issues, and it just seemed like not a good idea. But I just want to put it out there that I really loved Frozen. Today I want to talk to you guys about the five worst types of customer. You should at all costs avoid being this type of customer, any of them on the list, because people will hate you. People will just hate you so much. A couple of months ago I started working in retail again. I've been working in retail for almost 10 years now and the worst types of customers don't really change. The haggler. You may know this guy as the one who constantly argues the price. The one who says, is there any further discount on this item? Can I get more off because it's display? This random shop 20 kilometers from here that may or may not have this item has it for $10 cheaper. Can you throw in something free? You may also get the kind that doesn't speak English properly and will just stand there saying a price at you over and over again while you stand there saying the actual price back at them and eventually get nowhere. These customers will do everything in their power to get that extra dollar off the price and if you're buying a car or something, fine, but in most retail scenarios, that's not okay. Don't keep asking me for a discount, especially considering I work at a factory outlet and everything is already discounted. The Believer. This is the person who believes in magic. So they will maybe come up to you and say, do you have this in green? And you will say no. And they'll say, are you sure you don't have it out the back? And you'll say no. And they'll say, does it come in green? And you'll say no. And they'll say, oh, are you sure? And they will just stand there and wait for this item to magically appear. Like they expect you to turn around and say, oh, uh, actually, <laughs> hang on, let me just, I just, I'll just go and make it for you. I'll just go make it out in the back room and I'll be right back and I'll bring it out for you. No, if I say no, it, you, no, just no. The committophobe. This is the person who will not settle on an item. They will arm and ah forever. They will go off and have lunch. They'll go and look in other stores. Eventually they're going to end up back where they started and they're going to buy that item. But they will take all day to do it. They will bounce back and forth between two items, dragging you along with them. There appears to be a dying bird outside my room. Can you stop? I'm trying to do a thing. There are two outcomes from the committophobe. One, they buy the very first item they were looking at after hours. Or two, they go home empty handed because they just can't settle on one thing. I would hate to see their love life. The asshole. This is the person who just is in a bad mood or is a bad person. It's one of the two. They will answer the phone while you're talking to them. They will frown at you if you try and make a joke or small talk. If you approach them to offer your help, they will turn their back to avoid talking to you. Any other rude behavior you can think of, that is indicative of the asshole. And finally, we have the joker. Normally, I'm a big fan of jokes. I like a little comedy in my life. But the joker is the guy who comes in and when you ask him which account, instead of saying savings, he says either spendings or slavings. 
and thinks that he's the first person who's ever said that to you and so you have to fake laugh because it's apparently hilarious. He'll also say things like when you offer him a bag he'll say no thanks I've already got one right here and point at his wife. In my particular line of work I work in a bag store. When you offer him a bag he'll also say something like what do I need a bag for a bag? We just sell bags! And we put bags in bags all day! Why do you think you're so clever being like, Oh, why would I need a bag? You need a bag. Are you just gonna carry that item around? Don't be a douche. So, in my opinion, those are the five worst types of customers. I encounter all of them on a daily basis. And they just make my work so much worse than it needs to be. But when you go shopping, please, for the love of God, try not to be any of these types of customers. Because odds are if you are, the person serving you is going to want to punch you right in the nose. Okay guys, I'll be uploading another flashback video with Rachel on the weekend, and I'll see you guys next week. Okay, bye!